what is good everybody today we're going to be doing 100 days on power world now i may have gone a little bit overboard just just not too much just a tiny little winky wink you feel me but yeah alongside that we're going to be showing a lot of insufferable bugs that came along this journey with us that made me just want to absolutely first thing first in Pal World, there are many mythical and delightful creatures scattered across the globe. You must find and merge all creatures in order to see them fuse into an ultimate alien of Star Trek. Remember that if you lose all of your items, you can always sell the carcass of a pal and deliver yourself from Pandora's box into the Blades of Chaos used to aid Kratos in his journey of valor. Girl, what the fuck is you talking about? Honestly, bro, Pal World's pretty cool, man. First thing first, I ended up getting this freaking pal, man. This is the best starter pal there is, as far as I know. A bit of a hefty price, though, to acquire him. It takes some skill, not gonna lie. Then we got this guy, looking like a... Uh, he got a cowboy hat, look at that. Oh, look at him. Kind of like a fusion of uh, this cowboy with a, a bird or no. Then there's another bug in the game where you can apparently climb on these little pal ord things, right? Pal spheres. I forgot the I forgot the name, bro. I mean, I haven't played the game. This recording is gonna be pretty old, but whatever. But yeah, here's some bugs, man. Pretty crazy, isn't it? Ah, it's gonna be constant bugs throughout this whole process, and I'm just trying to see if I can get that bug to happen again, where I can climb on it, right? A little glitch. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but here we go. All you gotta do is literally climb it. Your camera's gonna shake a little bit because uh, of the wobble of the sphere, and then you just go up in the air. You know, initially I thought this was useless, but later down the line, this could prove very useful because, uh, unlike me right there where you saw I messed up. Oh, when I first started, I didn't know that the gliders, you could actually um, use them whenever you want in the air. I thought it was just like a one-time use and that's it. So that's why I ended up dying there. I didn't know how it worked. Um, but then I figured it out pretty quick. Uh, but yeah, you can go into the air and it's a good way to look at your surroundings and see... Um, where everything's at so you decide where you want to go next but that's about it. that's the only benefit to it you get a good sight also every time you die you can only spawn um in, in the base you put nearby you got a checkpoint for it and um and the uh, checkpoints around the map where you got like those little towers that glow uh throughout my journey i ended up finding out that apparently there are a couple pals but oh look at this guy <laughs> this is the boss at the beginning of the game and honestly one of the hardest bosses to be fair and i just knew i needed this big buffy boogly woogly more fluffla fluffy ass little bojungle on my team so i needed to have him and you know another bug apparently a little sheep um is secretly the actual boss of the game you know blocks the way of the big old mammoth and it happened again with chicken maybe these guys are the real bosses of the games <laughs> But yeah, the game is just straight up goofy, but not in a bad way. Also, he's going to cross this bridge. Pretty crazy, ain't it? Yeah, definitely, definitely realistic. Like, it, yeah, definitely. A few planks, definitely going to hold like a 10-ton mammoth. Yeah, we're, we're good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he got boulders on his back. You know, it's, it's all good, bro. It's all good. He got, you know, he doesn't weigh anything, but he's like plastic. It's all good. So fast forward to several days later, you can see I have a gun on the side, which is just there for visual purposes, to be honest. I don't really even have a gun. But since the armor comes with it, you know, it's pretty cool, I guess. But basically, yeah, it turns out that most of the bosses in this game, you could easily exploit them. It's honestly, you could even say it's more difficult to fight normal pals than to fight actual bosses. Because there's a trick to every, almost every boss you can do where um, you can just hide like this in a, in a corner. The thing that's happening with this boss is that since, and this, was, this was like complete accident that I found this by the way. If you just manage to get far enough, right, and it's like under a ledge of a hilltop or something like that. You basically position yourself to where it's basically, um, it's like, let, let's say there's a road, right, a straight road. And then there's also a left or a right path you can choose. So which path are you going to go? And the mammoth is basically on the middle part of the top part. You know what I mean? Like I'll put an illustration on the screen. We have one road and then two roads that split. 
from the main road I'm in. And then at the end of both of those roads, there's another road that crosses and connects both of them. And so the mammoth would be in the middle of that road that's crossed in between both. And I would be at the beginning of the first road. And so it basically makes it so that the AI can't decide where to go. So he's constantly fluctuating between going left or right. Now, the only thing that's a bug with this that could ultimately mess you up is the fact that um, you need to have a pow on the other side hitting him at the same time because otherwise it's not going to work. So this boss could one shot me with one of his abilities or get me extremely low to the point where I die. So I'm really trying to, even if I just cheesed it, I have to play it like this because sadly this boss is insanely tough. If it hits you with abilities, it's going to hurt like hell, potentially one shot you. And since I was still kind of early game, I just decided to exploit as much as I could um, and basically trick the boss. So if he ever is going to hit your um, pal and you know it's about to kill him, what you want to do is you want to um, eject the, the pal back into the sphere. And you want to resummon it very quickly. It requires a little bit of skill, but once you get the hang of it, you, you'll get it and you know you'll be all right. Here I'm just repositioning, you know, leaving space again. The NPC got stuck, as you can see. It's alternating between trying to aggro me and aggro the POW I summoned. And so you can just fluctuate between these two things so that eventually you can um, get the boss low enough so you can start to capture it. As you can see, I'm still early game. I had the very basic um, spheres. They're not super basic. They're like right in the middle, kind of. But there's like three or four other different tiers. So it's definitely not the right sphere to capture this um, boss. But since I was early game and I wanted to get the best of the best as soon as possible, I did kind of have to cheese the way into the boss. But hey, I mean, who wouldn't? You know what I mean? And so here I'm just trying to get a little bit low with my super weak negative one damage bow. One shot, not even a triple shot, just a one shotter. And I'm just trying to get the boss while trying to avoid his aggro. Try not to get hit by no abilities because if he does hit me by one of those beefy abilities, I'm out. <laughs> that did not sound right. Shut it. So basically I'm just here dodging and weaving, trying to get him. I'm running out of spheres and I'm just straight up at this moment just panicking because... I'm trying to capture this guy. I want to capture this guy. This took a whole half an hour just to attempt to get him. And so I'm going to just let the rest of it play out. Um, it's pretty straightforward. And yeah. Look at all that, bro. That is all pixelated, bro. Look, I will literally go there, bro. Look. Buggy ass game, bro. Half this desert isn't even foundation, bro. There's no terrain. Look, I drop right through. What kind of a fucking game is this, bro? Fix your shit, man. Because of this shit, I was about to beat a boss and I accidentally stepped into one of this hollow land bullshit. And then the boss got all his HP back, bro, in the matter in in shit in the span of a minute or two. It's some bullshit, bro. Look at this. It's all pixelated, bro. The main entrance to that city, this shit's pixelated, bro. How are y'all releasing these games, bro, without having the foundation? The main principle of any game, bro. Not built. That dude's glitched down there, bro. This why I be watching where I'm going, bro. Look at that, bro. That's literally a whole desert. And none of it is actual terrain, bro. You will clip through the map. You step on any of that from that line onwards. Even the mountains are pixelated. Look at that, bro. It's ridiculous, bro. Because of that, I couldn't get this boss, bro. 
Y'all know what it's like to grind for a boss, bro. Not even get him. And then get cheated out of it. That's the crazy part, bro. Because he would have been mine right now, bro. I would have destroyed his ass by now, bro. Now I got to redo this shit all over again. Staying this way this time. So the just here, for those who don't know, is basically um, I was grinding this boss. But then I ended up clipping through the world, and um, that caused the boss to de-aggro and gain all his health back. So that's why I'm pretty much completely annoyed at this point. And if you take that into account, along with the other bugs of having pals that cannot hit <coughs> certain creatures based off their positioning, that makes it even worse and tedious to have to do this all over again, you know? Look at that, bro. Like, I'm not even pissed at these bugs, bro. It's the fact that I clicked through the ground, bro. The game got released before the foundation was even secured. Who decided that, bro? Whoever did should get fired. These are. This is not the only issue I've had with this shit, bro. So after grinding this boss for a bit, I came to the realization that it was getting dark. But I couldn't really do anything. I wanted to see if I could finish him off. And the downside of this is the following. <laughs> wow. Wow, 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 wow. So for those of you that don't know, the screen turned bluish. That means I'm cold, so that means little by little I'm taking dot damage wow, as we speak, wow, right? Wow. And in this situation, I only brought one set of armor, which is the heat resistant. I thought that'd be enough. But I wasn't aware that in this game, if you wear the wrong set of armor in the wrong type of environment, because it's a desert, it should still be super hot as hell. Right? At least the ground. Shit, I could hide under the sand or something like a fucking spider. But apparently, no. In this game, if you're wearing the wrong armor at the wrong time of day, it actually causes negative effects. So you could actually be completely naked right now with no armor and that would be better than you wearing this armor right now to prevent the cold that it's saying I'm being dealt damage with. Which is straight bullshit in any game it needs to get changed. I tried to make a campfire here but that wasn't enough heat apparently being beside a literal fire. And so not knowing what to do I get on the fire I panic like a little bitch. And then I just try to catch the power because it's the last option I can think of. And I'm about to die. I'm dying slowly due to dot damage. And in this game, the food doesn't heal you. It just regenerates your health. But it doesn't do it at a consistent pace if you're literally dying of any sort of dot damage. But yeah, I'll just let it unfold. Fuck this game, bro. Bullshit ass fucking game. What do you mean 4%? You got no fucking health, bro. Get the fuck out of here. You know what's crazy, bro? They despawn, bro. The nigga despawns, bro. That's the crazy part, too, bro. The audacity to despawn, bro. That's the crazy part. Still nighttime. Same exact fucking time, bro. Same exact fucking time, bro. Watch. I even made a campfire, bro. And he's not gonna be there, bro. Look at this glitched ass turn. Look at this shit. Bro, how, how can y'all release a game like this, bro? How can y'all release a game like this? The fuck are you looking? I'm gonna burn you alive when I come back. Watch, he's not gonna be there, bro. Look, I'm not even gonna make it there, bro. I'm dead ass not even gonna make it there. How much you bet I'm not gonna make it there, bro? I'm just gonna show you guys through a point. Yeah. If I make it there, that is. I don't think I will. But at least you guys will see. That it's not fucking there. Oh, would you look at that? Would you look at that? Nothing is there. The ah. only thing there is my fucking loot body. Boss is nowhere to be seen. 
game's dog shit, bro. Start out liking it, bro, but then the late game is complete utter bullshit. All these terrains from literally from this zone on, bro, from this zone onwards, everything it has some sort of buggy terrain, especially around the center area of the map. Now up in this desert, there's literally plots of land for the left side disappeared. Bullshit, bro. Man, dude. All that working for what? Twice now, bro. First one was bullshit. I would have had it the first time, but I clipped through the ground. Second time, this bullshit game, bro, turns into dark. Giving the illusion that it's still day. That's crazy, bro. Stupid ass orangutan, weird ass diddle dog bullshit. It's like a SpongeBob doodle. Ends up having a 4% chance only. That's crazy. Alrighty, I fed all and nearly all my food too, bro. Trying to get this piece of shit. And this piece of shit's blocking my view. Look, I'm not eager. This is not even your hitbox. How is that arrow not going through you? Well, now it went through. That's crazy. Another five minutes just waiting on these dipshits to do something. But my Pokemon's just standing there like a dumbass. Yeah, y'all should program it in the game that they have default attacks. If their abilities are gone, then make them do default attacks at the very least. Move something. Look at this, bro. Absolutely fucking beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. I'm surprised the game didn't crash. So it gets pixelated better, huh? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Good even out of fight. What are you doing? Imagine bro just gets all his full health because of that. Okay, buddy. Don't tell me that shit kills me, bro. Do not tell me that shit kills me, bro. Ah! You gotta be shitting me, bro! What? Fucking ability kills me? Are you fucking serious? I literally have the most advanced metal fucking armor, bro. HP enhanced health. Look at that. Almost 2k health. 2k with the fucking armor set. Basically. You're telling me I die off one shot with burning effect? Get the fuck out of here. It's a heat resistant armor set, too. What the fuck, game? Yeah, you can fix that. Yeah, you can't fix your bullshit ass terrain right beside. How about you make them spawn there? Oh, wait, I bet they already sunk and died. Shit's too slow. Hurry up, mount it. Buggy ass game, bro. Big ass flying creature, you're telling me this shit goes this fast, that's it? You're telling me this shit doesn't go faster? No thrust movement ability? This is a boss, by the way. I have not seen this as a regular Pokemon anywhere. Yeah. Look at this, look at this, it loses the aggro. Okay. Wow, man. Back at it again with the bullshit. Oh, yeah. 
almost dead. Yeah. This is the buggiest Pokemon in the entire game, bro. He literally does nothing. Literally just stands there and loves to get his ass pumped. Look at you. I should kill you myself. I'm going to butcher you when you get back, bro. <laughs> I'm going to butcher your ass when we get back to base. It's a nice fried wing stew. Feather stew. Do the electric shockwave. You have it as an ability. What the fuck is wrong with this game, bro? What the fuck is wrong with this game, bro? So after dealing with several bugs and multiple attempts that this game just loves to delay me with, I finally managed to do the impossible. I'm throwing every single ball. Finally! And he only has one trait. Fucking amazing. Uh, says so my bio. Are you a goober? Goober. Uh, only that's still an open case. Goober. Goober! Are you a goofy? Still an open case, I can't talk about it. Are you a very nice guy? I tend to be. Are you black? Nope. Are you a male? Yep. Are you level one? In the server? Are you a member? Yep. Are you a nigga? Wait, 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 um, I was grinding this game for quite a bit, and I recorded a bunch of different clips, but due to Xbox deleting them, I didn't really record them on the PC, so yeah, they're gone. But, as you can see, same routine as the previous boss, just cheese it, this time on top of a hill, looking down, and my pal slowly killing it. I've waited about, you can say almost 30 minutes or so, for this dude to slowly shred him. You just gotta be like on top of this hill here. It's already dark, look at that. It's about to be completely dark. Hopefully my armor withstands the coldness. And I've been feeding this guy non-stop. So make sure to have plenty of food just in case. And now I'm finally gonna see if I can capture this thing. I have Ultra Spears, which should be able to capture this, but they might require legendaries, not sure. All right, I'm about to go down. Let's try and capture him. Yep, there's a chance. And as long as there's a chance, I'm taking it. Quick heads up, as you can see, there is a good chance that your pal could get stuck inside the wall every time you try to capture him beside any type of wall or ceiling. It happened to me in a dungeon once where I had to exit because, um, uh, yeah, sadly the Pokemon ended up glitching through the wall. He could still hit you with some abilities. And that's the other downside as well, so you might just die on top of that. So yeah, just be very wise on where you decide to um, try to catch him. Yes. Yes! We got the legendary! It's the school! Look at that! And Swift! Guardian deity of Palbagos Island. Known as the Winter Caller. Bro, look at them three stats. Swift! Above all else, I'm pretty sure I can ride this guy too, bro. <laughs> Yo, I don't even know how much XP I got off that, bro. <laughs> Dude, we literally cheesed it, guys. In this game, literally, you can just hide in a certain corner or a certain hill or somewhere. That's like above ground where their abilities don't hit you. You know, if you're lucky enough to not have them have abilities that go through walls and shit. And you can just like be here like I did and just camp your way and cheese the whole fight. Yeah, it's not as fun, but bro, this boss is insanely hard. I tried to do it the natural way, but my ground pals, which are most of my combat pals, are not the same level. They're way under leveled compared to the boss, which is 50. 
and that boss has a shit ton of hp and almost the whole his whole kit just casted once on one of them almost kills them and th these are tanky bro like this is my tankiest unit and he nearly got one shotted this guy Oof. good thing i got this mount bro if it wasn't for this mount bro i would have probably died by now bro but he gave me extra heat i like that realisticness they added to the game now i'm gonna go back oh man hell's a hard boss 50 frost stallion let's go i'm going back to base now man and we're gonna try to get a uh, a saddle bro and i'm i'm dead ass gonna go for that saddle now all right up in the mountain fully maxed stallion here let's roll for it let's actually attempt to do these boss fights with over a hundred thousand hp Who is this goofy? Love the low quality flops. What are we fighting? What are we fighting? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Aha. That's the sickest one yet. Ooh, we do good damage. Very mean. Yo, yeah. I mean, I threw it, bro. What's up, man? We beat it. Time to stack up on sulfur again for the next boss fight. You know, I probably don't need it, but it's good to have extra ammo just in case. I wanted to capture that Pokemon, but I couldn't for whatever reason. Let's see how we do in the let's see how we do in the desert boss fight. I already saw this. Where are you shooting, bro? What the fuck are you doing? What's wrong with this game, bro? Can't stand this shit. Every single time I fight the enemy, bro, he's got better fucking... AIs, but when I play and my Pokemon's got to fight as the worst AI, I mean, look at that, bro. What the fuck is this shit about? So after dispatching pretty much every single boss in the map in the whole game at this point, there was only one left, which was this one. Um, so I decided to take him on because, you know, how hard could he be? Well, it turns out he's actually pretty easy to beat. The main issue I encountered is that the AI on the pals is, as usual, super mega busted. Especially with some abilities being focused towards the ground instead of the actual target that's flying. Um, that's why I found a little trick around it. You basically just want to mount on your pal and then cast the abilities on them so you can get pinpointed accuracy on your abilities. The good thing is that I didn't know this either earlier in the game, but if you cast the ability while you're mounted, it's like a separate uh, section of abilities. So that means that if you activate uh, a skill, you can then demount um the pow immediately and he'll cast it at the same time as well so you can cast the ability twice in a row without having to wait uh such a long period of time you know it's like a double little glitch buff thing or whatever so that's pretty cool um but yeah the only reason i lost this fight here was because i was running out of time and um, they only give you a set amount of time to do it and if you don't complete it in time they automatically kills you so yeah Went to go grind a bit more, get some more pals, and then come back to finish this up, and we're done with the game. Can't even teleport, man, because this game's tripping, bro. Try to teleport here, and every time I do, it brings me right back to base. So I'm gonna have to teleport here. If my analog stick stops tripping.
No, look at this buggy game, bro. That guy's clipped to the floor. This is the best mount in the game, by the way. I don't care what no one says, bro. I have not found anything better than this. This is a legendary steed, bro. Look at that. Look how cool that looks, bro. Bro's walking on made up ice particles. Pretty badass, if you ask me. We have exactly 42 legendary spheres, so 20 for each. Technically four with the ultra spheres, not really counting on that though. We can at least get one of them, that'll be huge, but we really want to get both of them. Ah, ah dude. This fucking game, bro. What a waste. Second attempt. Come on, come on! You are going down, bitch! Once we... It's one more thing. Oh my god. Oh, hell no, oh, man. What the fuck? Some time later. Remember to ride your mount to make these battles way quicker. Because otherwise, you're going to be here for a whole in-game day. You don't want that, trust me. Get back at it again. I mounted the ride. That was way easier. We're good now. Just on time, too. It literally took the whole day just to get this one guy, bro. Get the both these guys, bro. I had to fight them simultaneously, bro. Woo! One swan with Necromus. This gleaming form is free of all negative emotions. Oh, man. I'd say that is honestly the toughest fight in the whole game due to the fact that I gotta fight both of them at once. So at this point, there's nothing else left to do. I just started breeding, maxing out whatever pals I could, taming whatever else I could find for the final battle. I wanted to double check, triple, quadruple, quintuple, make sure that I could beat it. And so, yeah, we're basically done with the base. We're done with everything and we're at end game. So let's get it. Symbols are still pixeled. Hmm. <laughs> that thing about this guy is that there's a bug with my mount that the one of the abilities does not hit it. <laughs> Oof, this spot is gonna be a sin. It's GG for this boss. There might be like a weird glitch I saw a YouTube video, but I think it got patched. And I don't really give a shit, honestly. I don't really give a shit. My guy's just tanking. Fuck you. 
biatch. Get out of here. It was a glitched pterodactyl. I'm pretty sure I have to beat all these bosses in order for like at least the tree area to open up. Because it's a little bit weird that they have that whole tree, all that land in that corner of the map, and I can't access it. You could technically still go through it by just flying over if you have the mount for it, but even still, there's nothing on the other side and it's super pixelated, so it like doesn't render. This boss is going to be way easier because it's a land. I mean, technically a, a flying creature, but if it's on the floor, then we're good. So basically what I was yapping about here is the fact that um, I'm talking about the Yggdrasil tree. Basically, it's like that one tree. I don't know if that's the name of it, but in the corner of the map, which I'll show it in later clips, um, there is a corner in the top left of the game's map where there's a super huge tree you can see from a distance and you can't really access it. There's like a red wall to it, but yeah, we'll talk about that uh, pretty soon. As for this boss, he's honestly tankier, but I consider him way easier because he's actually on the ground. Yeah, a flying type is on the ground. Big ass wings. Crazy, isn't it? Now, if he was in the air like the other boss, it would have been an issue, but since he's on the ground, every single ability from my pal should hit. And it's more likely to hit than if it, it was in the air. So this boss is another easy one. We do it first try, and then I believe this would be the hardest boss technically. I'm guessing due to the fact that um, it's got more health than the other one. It was supposed to, at least. Alright, I think we're good. Last hit. Yeah! That was close, under a minute, we did it. I wasn't even gonna bother capturing it, bro. It wasn't gonna work. Woo. Bro, that is every single boss down now, bro. Defeated. 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 Fucking control and break it. And defeated. So after finally beating every single boss, doing everything there was to do, I went to go check up on the Yggdrasil tree again. All right, I'm assuming it's that's what it's that's what it is. I mean, it's got to be like and no other tree in fiction or lore, or whatever. Have they um, used a tree? at least this big of this caliber and character to describe the Yggdrasil series, which which would be this one. Shut up, y'all. Don't be typing in comments. Anyways, so yeah, I went back to see if that red wall was still there. It still is. But this time, I wanted to see if anything changed. I wanted to get a better view of everything that's happened up until this point. I wanted to show my accomplishments. And for the record, this mount I'm currently um, riding is the fastest in the game. So, highly recommend it. With the other guy this is the wall bro look it technically counts as ground but at the same time not really but if you were to do this for example and then summon him and then wait a little bit he'll automatically rest on it but you can't rest on it so that's the only problem this is end game bro look at that the wall is still red but what we can do is since we have a better mount now and it's way faster I'm gonna explore this way, see what's going on, because this might be just a future update and that's it. But there might be a secret hidden, who knows? So it's gonna drop me down now, right? I was already here once before. And man, was it a pain in the ass to get back without losing any of my gear. Okay, this is another invisible wall. Let's see where we can go. Deja vu. I've been did it a day before I up on the street and I know that your chance to go on each on your mystery.
I don't know if I made it or if I'm tripping. Well, I can't get over it. Don't know what it is, but this is all pixelated. Something should have rendered at the very least. So there's only one other thing I can check. All right. Second island, I think. Whatever. Door is also closed. This looks like a door. Like why would they have this island here otherwise? Damn, this boy does a lot of damage. Okay, folks, this is it. What the fuck? Use me. Abuse me. Just take me for granted. Use you? I bet. Yeah, no. I don't know if that's it, bro. Nothing changing, bro. This shit ain't open. Oh, I got in. Technically. Nah, I'm still at the entrance. So nothing changed, bro. I beat all the bosses. That's it, bro. I'm done with the game. And with nothing else left to do, there was only one option left. To flex. Alright, 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 all right. check this out, check this out, hold up. Let me eat some food real quick. Yeah, I have like two minutes and I probably have to hop off. It's all good, it's all good, I got, that's enough. Yo, look, look, look this, is, this is, remember this house? Remember this house I was building? Damn! Alright, now look, now look at everything. I got the, the max, decked out, high tech, and then boom. Jeez, wait, is that gone? Oh, I think I have the same base. Jet Dragon! Yeah, nigga. <laughs> He's mine. Oh, <laughs> bro, believe oh, it. Holy shit, bro. Believe like Anubis, bro. He's supposed to be like the god of the dead in the Egyptians. Yeah. Wait, how do you like get so many high like level powers? The what? How do you get all of these people? Did you just like explore and like play more? Yeah, yeah, I just captured all of them. I'm breeding these guys. These guys are OP as fuck. I got like 10 of them. Look at look at how fast this is the fastest mount I've I've found so far. There's one that I think is faster, but that would be it. Look 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 look. Let me just let me just wait. Oh shit. Let me just get this guy. I've been breeding him here. Look, this is the breeding farm. Damn. Yeah yeah. Look at all the dude. My list is almost full. Look, all these I've captured. Damn. These are all bosses. Look look at all the bosses, bro. I'm played by Alpha. Damn, look at these. These guys were hard as fuck to beat, bro. They're, these are those bosses that you have to fight two of them at once. Yo, look at this one. This is the fastest. This is the one I'm trying to get the saddle for. He's the last level. I'm waiting for, like, the last level here. Look at this, bro. I'm only missing two levels. This is the last saddle. He's, at, he's literally the last saddle. I'm guessing he's the fastest pal in the game, bro. Still missing two levels to unlock his saddle. This motherfucker's quick as shit, bro. You should see him moving, bro. Shit's insane. And got uh, the Mad Myth. Yo, this guy's the best farmer, by the way. If you come back to the game, he's always going to be the best farmer. There's nobody that beats him. Oh, uh, yeah. This guy was hard as shit to beat. You you fight this guy and another guy with him. He has, like, a brother. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me let me, let me me show you this last thing here. Look. Wait, how did he know which powers to, like, assign where? You just grab... Uh, no, they just work automatically. But if you want them to... Oh. Some, sometimes they bug out, so you have to, like, pick them up. And you have to like literally throw them to the thing and then they start doing like the breeding farm i had to throw these guys in here look they just laid an egg you feed them cake and then they they start breeding you need a male and a female obviously boom got an egg yeah. legendaries bro i'm breeding legendaries now bro look they already got a legendary here look hold on hold on let me put let me put this guy down look this is the fastest this isn't the one i'm using which is a little bit faster but look 
I already made the saddle. Look at this, bro. Holy shit, that's sick. Bro, dude, that you seen this merchant too? Look at this merchant. This merchant is the best merchant in the game. Don't attack him, don't attack him. Oh shit, okay, that was close. You can you can buy illegal pals from this guy, bro. Look at this. There he Yeah, I already have that one. I buy that one. You can sell him too. You can kill him too, bro. He drops 10,000 gold or more. With a gold key. I always kill him. Oh, this guy, you can watch him fight, look. Holy shit. I'm surprised it's not bugging out, I ain't gonna lie. Compared to the other power I have that I fully upgraded. That's sick. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I don't have the saddle, bro. I want to try him because I think he's the fastest mount in the game, bro. He moves super quick. Like, look, I wonder if he works in the water. That guy's still alive down there, so maybe if he moves. Yo, look how fast he moves, bro. This motherfucker moves fast as shit, bro. Look at that, bro. Look at that. By the way, the game got an update uh, a couple days ago, apparently. There's a new island now, as you can see right there. So if you guys want me to make another video, let me know. I don't know if I'll come back to this game, but maybe. Maybe enough likes, and just maybe. Peace.